we're here at the Mardi Gras Museum in Mobile, Alabama, and it opened in 2005 because people around here wanted a Mardi Gras Museum. So um, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna see what they got. 14 rooms from what we understand, and it's in the Bernstein Bush House, and it's a historic home. So we're really excited about the architecture too. Mobile claims to be the birthplace of Mardi Gras, so let's go find out what that claim's all about. Okay, we're reporting to you live from the money room at the Mardi Gras Museum. And why is it the money room? Because this is where all the crowns are. A lot of crowns. I had no idea about this museum. I mean, I had no idea about Mardi Gras. I thought it was all about beads and parades and things like that. In New Orleans. Tuesday, um, things like that in, in New Orleans. But um, it is really really um much more than that really um, <laughs> there's well there's two different societies the um and one is a black society one's a white society um they have kings and debutantes and queens and uh, just there's so much yep it's 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 pretty wild um and yeah the american mardi gras was born here in mobile alabama and it's not about all the stuff in New Orleans. It's about old money here in Mobile. You can't even, if you have lots of money, you still can't buy your way into these societies. These are people who... You marry into them or born into them, and that's born. it. It's like yeah. royalty. Okay, so if you don't know, I am a huge fan of purple. Got my purple on today. And this train behind me is obviously purple, and I love it. This queen, um, she reigned in 2003. Her brother is next to her. They can't reign in... This, in the same year he was 2001 but this train behind us is the heaviest in the entire museum and it actually has six ball bearings at the bottom of it so that it will roll and then they have a little piece of Mardi Gras magic in there that it goes around her chest so that it's not pulled on her neck as she walks so it was um, around her the, her chest it went her uh, special pieces went around so that it would um, pull there and not on her neck but amazing and uh, her grandmother was 1930s, right? Mm -hmm. And the cream outline that you can see right here on the edge, um, that was from her grandmother's train. I just love that kind of history. I just think it's fascinating. And these are amazing trains Very everywhere detailed. throughout. They're so detailed. And I hear that train is coming. <laughs> yeah. He's Scottish descendants, and so he wants to represent his clan. Uh, I think his plan, uh, how did Marty's kill him around the war of his train? It's the only one that has a what? Uh, Scottish descendants, so he's in a target. And this rear, she's full because outside of the abstract things, there is fur above her train. She really only thinks that you, that lavish amount of uh, fur. Mr. Cooper, that all golden right there, that's how he works with the multi generational aspect of our model because his father was a king, he was going to be, he was a king. I just wanted to tell you that we had a fabulous time in this museum. It was so great and we learned a whole lot of things like they use three and a half million moon pies in a two and a half week period. That's a lot of moon pies. Also, we learned that these families while they won't give us a price range of what it costs for them to be in their uh, debutante or a king or a queen and all this stuff, they will tell you that it costs between a small SUV and a uh, moderate three bedroom, two and a half bath home. If you are in the Mobile, Alabama area, you've got to come by and check out this museum because it was definitely worth the admission price of $8.
and there are discounts available if you are military, I think AAA, some different other ones. So come on by and check it out. It's a little windy here in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. We are out and about trying to dodge some raindrops. And we've come across the, depending on how I edit this video, the first or second or maybe even third Mardi Gras Museum. And it's right there. That is a historic 1920s train depot. And that's where the Mardi Gras Museum is. I'm kind of excited for the architecture too. Yeah, it's a cool building on the outside. Survived Katrina. So let's go see what it looks like inside. was really cute but not really a museum as much as it was like something neat for me to go look at because I love all the costumes of Mardi Gras and then upstairs they have a folk art museum which was kind of like going to an antique store but a lot of pictures and uh, some art deco glass and stuff like that so it was still neat to look around we are at Mardi Gras world in New Orleans that's in Louisiana we just uh, bought tickets for the self-guided tour it used to be a guided tour COVID made it self-guided, so let's do some self-guided touring at one of the coolest places, Mardi Gras related, I've seen. So let's go check it out. Mardi Gras world, they don't reuse floats in the parades, everything's new, and they don't get rid of most of the floats either. And also, I did not realize this, but did you know that Marilyn Monroe had a huge butt? She does. Now this is not just a museum, this is actually a working factory for um, making Mardi Gras floats. And they also do some other things. So let's check out some of these really cool statues that were featured on either Mardi Gras floats or maybe in some of your favorite commercials. Yes, they do that here too. Let's go check it out.
we have just finished the big tour, self-guided tour, unfortunately, at Mardi Gras World here in New Orleans. Now, this place has been in existence for nearly a hundred years. It's amazing inside. All of the sculptures that they do are just, I don't know, larger than life. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Um, despite the fact they don't do the guided tours because of COVID season, it's still a lot of fun. And I, in a different way, I think it was probably more fun. It's nice to have the guided tour because you get a lot of the history and backstories you don't normally hear. Plus, there were some areas that were actually roped off from the last time I was here with my daughter. We had the guided tour a few years ago. But all in all, glad we came. Worth a stop. And Mardi Gras is just a couple of weeks away as we're filming this. So, got our beads already. Got our king cake. Got our king cake. Let's see what else we can do.